Okay, Randy, you're up. Hey, great, David. I appreciate it. Uh, and great stuff today. Uh, I'm yeah. 66 and I'm COVID retired, if you will. Basically, the, uh, the job went away and I'm just kind of looking at what I want to do going forward. But I'm just wondering what different advice would you give for folks that are, say, in my age bracket, maybe even a little older, who are starting to look at the money they've got currently invested in 401s and looking at the tax impact of that, you know, just kind of mapping out the next five to 10 years of financials versus being 20 years old, looking at the next 40 years. Okay. Um, I'm so glad I called on you. I'm so glad you asked this question. Do you mind sharing roughly what your age is? I'm 66. 66. Okay. First of all, just put this in perspective. Um, most of my talks are for people your age because my financial service company, uh, all the talks I do are for people, we typically our clients are between the age of 16 and 85. That's when people retire. So let me give you as quick as I could, almost like a mini little seminar on what I say in these talks. Okay. Um, but everybody can learn from it. Okay, so there are, and this is not just me, it says, this is like the financial service industry. There are three stages to retirement. Traditionally, stage one is what's called the go-go years. The go-go years are from age 60 to roughly 70, first decade. Then there are the slower go, then there's the second, second stage, the slower go years. Those are typically 70 to 80. And then there's the third stage, which I refer to often as won't go. Now, typically that's the man who won't go because honestly, it's usually the man who, if he lives to be over in his eighties, doesn't have the help to go on the same trips that his wife wants to go to if they're still married. So what I share with our clients is this, the number one reason you do a financial plan is to do not treat these 30 years of retirement because that's about... An average retirement is somewhere between 20 to 30 years. What the financial service industry has done is scare people so much about running out of money that retirees who did a good job of saving money don't spend any. And what, that what I believe is that in retirement, you want to get, you want a financial plan done, ideally a financial advisor you can trust, because you want to see in black and white permission to start spending money. Most of our clients, and this is not a solicitation on any part, I'm not asking for any of you to hire us. Most of our clients, the issue is not, are they going to run out of money? Most of our clients, they just, they need to go spend more money, believe it or not. So what I would tell you because you're 66 is start thinking through like, what do you really want to do with your life? And once you've got the plan done, start enjoying the money and have fun. You know? Go have fun with it. You're going to be able to do things at 66 that you can't do at 76. It's just a fact. And, and the other thing I'd say to anybody here, because I talk about this, is that the next 10 years of your life at any age, at any age, statistically, the next 10 years of your life are the healthiest years of your life. At any age. So you need to treat these next 10 years like they're, 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 they're your years. Here's the beauty of where you are right now. You have, hopefully, Randy, it sounds like you got money. You have health. You have friends. You have family. Like, in your 60s, you have all these things around that you can enjoy. So I know we can't all travel right now, but as soon as you've got the vaccine in you and you, and you can do the things you want to do, start doing them. Don't put things off. And then, you know, to not be overly specific, but there comes a point in time where it makes a lot of sense to roll money from a 401k plan into an IRA account. So I just talked about how you build your wealth with a 401k plan, but ultimately you should move it into an IRA account in your name. And then it's very important that you have the beneficiaries up to date, whoever the beneficiaries need to be. And there should be contingent beneficiaries there. Often people have their spouse as a beneficiary, but they haven't put contingent beneficiaries in case their spouse passes away. And often 401k plans, the old ones were not set up with contingent beneficiaries. All of you should be checking out making sure your beneficiaries are up to date. Um, especially if you're in a second marriage, sometimes people don't get around to taking, I don't know how this is possible, but they don't take their exes off the beneficiaries, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, these are all important things. So I don't know, Randy, I hope, I hope that was helpful.
I, absolutely, it was great. It, and it's, I think the key thing there is to, to enjoy where we are and look at what we're doing now and not be so worried. Because I, I, I think you're right. I think so many folks that I've uh, talked to and, and heard from are saying, well, you know, if you live to be 90, you got to think about how much money that's there. But when you really start thinking about it, do you want to just sit around and do nothing for the next 25 years waiting to see if you've got any money left at 90? Yeah, and the last thing, you didn't ask me about Social Security, Randy, but I, I, I'm a huge proponent of taking the exact opposite of what people say. Our clients who don't need Social Security, I push them to take Social Security early. And people, I, well, but I don't need the money. I know you don't need the money. Great. So travel first class, buy a new car, give the money to the grandchildren, take a cruise. Like if cruises ever come back, they will. <laughs> you know, then just go enjoy it. It's like extra icing on the cake. So I throw that out there. Too. No, I, absolutely. I did the math on that back last uh, summer when I got into this COVID retirement. And I looked at if I delayed for another six years drawing my Social Security, it would take me 12 more years after that to get back to zero. And I just said, that makes no sense. So we started drawing. Makes no away. sense. Yeah. The government wants you to wait, which is a great sign that you should take it early also. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. All Thanks right. Thanks, Randy. Great to have you here. I appreciate the question. This can be your day for personal growth. This can be that day you committed to and you remember and you go, that was the day I got myself a community. I got better coaches. I committed to making my life the absolute best that I could. This is that day. Make today your growth day. Click the button on this page and sign up right now.